Hey YouTube, welcome back to Rando Gaming. Today we're going to start uh, on a series we're working on on medium range, long range, short range bots uh, and weapons for that matter. And we're going to do long range today. Uh, now when I say long range, I'm talking 601 plus, so like Trident and stuff's not going to be included on here. Uh, there's quite a few weapons that go over 601 meters. Uh, but for the most part, the only weapons we're going to be talking about are Trebs, Geckos, and uh, Molots. There's not going to be any rockets on here. There's not going to be uh, Trident. Uh, we, I'm not going to talk about Zenit or Noricum. I don't own. I think I do have some, but I don't. I don't run them. I've never ran a Zenit. I've never ran a Noricum. I hope I'm saying those names right. <coughs> Excuse me. Those weapons are more for. Uh, campers in my opinion anyway now I do know some guys that run the same setup I do on Natasha uh, I don't use long range bots anymore by the way I use all medium range and short range bots uh, which is actually a downfall when you come up to a couple of maps you do uh, that Natasha comes in handy on like uh, the mountain map the winter mountain map uh, it starts with a Y I forget the name of it but you guys know which one I'm talking about. Uh, it comes in handy on that one. Um, it would be nice for the for the second hangar to have a, a couple of snipers or at least one sniper in there. Uh, so I think we are going to purchase the second hangar and run uh, a few snipers. Now, uh, so again, 601 plus. Um, let me see. I had some stuff I wanted to go over. Oh, let's go over overall advantages on the bots and... Uh, weapons long range we'll just call it long range from here on out um they're great support bots uh they're great for like mountain and spring maps uh and even a few others like the city map uh, i forget the exact names of these maps i apologize but most of you guys know which one i'm talking about when i say city map i'm talking about the one with skyscrapers um overall disadvantages they're usually going to be slower bots you can't get uh, fast snipers I, I believe the fastest one out there is uh, Butch, and we're not going to be talking about Butch in this uh, segment because I don't own a Butch. Uh, we're also not going to be talking about Fury, not because I don't own a Fury, I just bought a Fury, that's why my gold's so far down right now. I just purchased my first Fury, so uh, I haven't gotten to play with them yet, so I don't know anything about them, I haven't uh, got to do any testing with them yet, so I don't have three of any... Uh, heavy weapons i don't have any three so i would have to use two like use the two zeus off my carnage and then use the tempest in the middle or something and i don't want to do that i want to wait until i have three weapons and then try it out and then three more and then three more and we're going to try fury we're going to try short range bot too we're going to try a uh, triple thunder on them so overall disadvantage is usually slower shields shut you down on trebs and geckos completely uh in fact i've been shut down by gareth when it comes to trebs they do become a bit uh it becomes a bit of a liability if you're running squad guys uh kind of get pissy if you run trebs in the upper leagues um just because the the shielded bots shut you down so quick uh and a lot of guys just don't like snipers uh good tips would be uh you got to be an active shooter man don't don't just camp out and stay behind cover walk around not only giving them a chance to get you, but also if you're an active shooter, you're getting a, a lot better score. I've taken just this bot right here, Natasha Trebs Geckos, and I've walked around a map and I've gotten like 800k damage using just that bot. So uh, you can be an active shooter. You can uh, just just journey around the map, try to find your shots. Now, if you're in one location and they just keep giving you pop shots, I'm not going to hate because you're standing there taking those pop shots you're getting a good score you're doing damage you're you know you're exploring the map so i'm not saying you're camped out just because you're getting a good uh shot placement if you if you have a place on the map you go to and get good shots hey more power to you uh and i do that as well with uh natasha trebs gecko so just be an active shooter would be uh my biggest one and look at the campers uh damage at the end of uh 
around that guy who just stands behind the wall taking pop shots here and there it's usually around 200 to 300 K they don't do much uh, so I mean it, it just goes to show you if you, you just walk around the map journey around the map a little bit you can get a whole lot better uh, damage score so let's go straight into the bots we're running here uh, Natasha Leo Ryan GI Patton and I've got another uh, Leo up there, but he doesn't have any weapons. We'll just talk about what a lot of guys run on him. Um, this is a setup I've never seen. Uh, I just decided to try it because I have one Tempest. It is a uh, Tempest Molot Leo. You can see everything's pretty low, 6-7. We're going to do some testing at the end of this video. We're going to go into a match and show you guys... Uh, what they can do we're just going to do a custom match and i'm going to set up some targets and uh, hit them with it now these are two uh snipers that a lot of guys do run and it's the rygen trebs and the gecko uh treb natasha now i can tell you i've done the math and you can get more damage out of natasha than you can rygen with the 30 percent boost on rygen uh, i'll just say that so out of all these bots, the only one I have ever ran is Natasha. Uh, so we'll talk about her first. This is two Trebs, two Geckos. Advantages is going to be high health on Natasha. Um, plus with those two heavy, you get two light slots. Most bots either give you one heavy, two heavy, what have you. Uh, like Raijin, you get two heavy. Carnage, you get two heavy. You don't get those two light spots. So that's a good advantage on uh, Natasha. And... With those, you can do test shots with the geckos, right? So you're not wasting your uh, trebs. You know, just test it with one gecko. If you can hit them, unload everything on them, and then unload your geckos. Uh, and that's a, a good plus on on Natasha with trebs, geckos. Disadvantage is you're going to be slow. That's going to be the biggest disadvantage about most of these bots. Uh, slow, you're an easy target uh, for rockets especially. You're, you have a very wide profile with Natasha. And it's hard to uh, sidestep rockets and things like that. It just doesn't happen easily with Natasha. Usually, uh, you're just a rocket magnet. <laughs> they just send a bunch of uh, death buttons and one of them is going to get you. <laughs> uh, so, rockets is a uh, pretty big uh, kryptonite for Natasha. So, let's see. Let's go on to Raijin here. Um, I think your biggest advantage would be the shield. Uh, plus, when you're shielded, you have 30% more power on your weapons, whatever weapons you're running. And Raijin's built like a damn tank. It's uh, just a tough bot. It's a tough bot to take down and has high health points. That shield's hard to uh, mess with, even with like a death button. Usually, I'm not going to take down a Raijin with one shot on a death button. Uh, I'm going to have to sneak around the corner, reload, and then come back to finish them off. So, biggest disadvantages would be you can't move when that shield's engaged, and there's no boost with it disengaged. Uh, so, and again, in my opinion, it's kind of a camper bot. You know, you just kind of hang out and uh, throw your shield up and take pop shots, and it's just not that much fun, in my opinion. Maybe some guys like, uh, you know, just hanging out and doing what they do. I don't... Uh, I don't like uh, camping out. I like to move around the map, like I said earlier. So, Raijin's not really one that I run often. I have one. Uh, you can see here that I went off the event. What I'm going to do with it is I'm going to build some thunders for it and use it for Beacon Rush. So, it's good for Beacon Rush. Uh, so, let's see. Let's go on to GI Patton because I didn't write anything uh, down for GI Patton because I've never ran this bot before either. I've never ran just geckos before. Um, but the, the, the quad gecko pattern is, uh, one of those bots. A lot of guys are starting to use these days. Uh, the biggest advantage about it is it just drains them away. It melts their, uh, life bar away like, uh, nothing else really. And it's constant, you know, and it's just as deadly as a thousand meters as it is at 20 meters. Uh, the thing about coming up close on those is you can usually, Step, step to one side and they focus off of you when you're up close uh, so it's harder to uh, engage an enemy at you know close ranges Khaleesi stop sorry about that the dog's going crazy in there um, 
the biggest uh, advantage of GI Patton himself and the geckos is he's pretty quick. He's a quick bot. Uh, the biggest disadvantage is again is going to be cover. Somebody can just step behind cover when you have a GI Patton. You can't do anything with them when you're running geckos. Uh, so that's going to be the biggest disadvantage when it comes to a GI Patton. Next one is Leo. This is another one that people run a lot is the gecko uh, Ansel Shield Leo. You see that a whole lot for some reason lately. Uh, also with aphids. Not that that's going to be in long range, but aphids. Um, this is the Leo that I would run. I'll just pull it up because it's behind the uh, blocks there. Is uh, Tempest Molot. Now Tempest is going to be a more expensive weapon. It's uh, one of those weapons you got to to build out of components. I actually won this one out of a chest right before they started the component thing. Uh, the biggest advantages is, oh, don't want to do that. Um, with Leo anyways, is he shreds Ansel Shields at like 800 meters, especially with this Molot Tempest set up. Uh, he just shreds Ansel Shields like they're not even there. It catches like every bullet from every gun, so it's awesome. Uh, you can knock down a uh, Ancelot shield before they get to center. That way, when they get to center, your boys can tear them up. So, uh, great support bot again. Uh, Leo is high health as well. He has very high health. Uh, and he's got a little bit of speed compared to most heavy bots. Uh, and he does have the coolest paint job, by the way. Not this one, but the, uh, the mummy set up there i love that paint job it's probably my favorite one it's one of the cheapest ones too i think it was like 200 silver or something uh, i actually won this one again i don't buy paint jobs i just win them uh, i've never uh, actually bought a paint job i don't think yeah i did i bought the leo paint job for 200 gold and then turned around and won a leo right after i bought a paint job for this one this is the koi paint job i run this won this one off the uh summer event and then i won the new mommy one on the uh halloween event so i don't know i just don't buy uh many paint jobs but the uh biggest downfall on leo is he only runs one heavy so if you want to run a treb and that is another setup on leo is treb and geckos a lot of guys don't run ansel khaleesi come here mama sorry um i should have uh closed the door before i started making a video uh because the dog's just gonna sit out there and yeah um if you're going to run uh a sniper a lot of guys like to run an ansel on top of it i don't like that uh, like if you run natasha you may as well run two trebs uh, or just don't run a sniper at all because one treb does half the damage, of course. Uh, and it just doesn't do, do a whole lot. Uh, that's also why I don't like the Leo Gecko uh, setup. I've never ran it because I like to have two trebs. If I'm going to use a treb, I want two of them. Uh, and again, the biggest downside on geckos and trebs is going to be cover and shield. Um, geckos take a little time. They need a little time to work you down. Uh, and you, need, you have to have a clean shot for both, by the way. There's no splat on any of these weapons. So if they're behind cover, they just completely shut them down on all of them. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, a game here. have to work on two different... Uh, Two different devices here it's a pain in the butt so you'll just have to bear with me real quick i'm going to create a custom game uh, let's see there's my name i should be popping up here in just a second uh, i should have had my uh, tablet going already but i didn't and I didn't include Butch on this just because I don't own them. I will do a video on Fury Sniper eventually. Uh, I'll do a video on them. I just have to get a couple of other weapons. Uh, I got to get an extra Treb brought up so I can try Triple Treb. And then we'll try some other stuff as well. So let's go map. Go there. Choose. And where'd I go? 
about them up here now that I'm online. Nope. There we are. All right. That is probably kick. Yep. The guys wanting to go into battle. They're going to have to give me a minute. All right, so let's hit fight. Let's hit fight. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop some. We're going to uh, do the Raijin versus Natasha first. So both of those are going to be with uh, Griffins. Both Griffins are uh, same level, I believe. I think they're both uh, level 7 or something like that. Uh, so we'll drop Natasha here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll bring... Griffin up and then we'll run Natasha now what I'm gonna do on Natasha is I'm gonna do two shots I'm gonna shoot drain my geckos then I'm gonna stop and let everything recharge halfway through the trebs charge and the geckos will be fully charged I'll empty those again So I'll empty the geckos again, and by the time those are empty, my trebs are just about charged back up. So, bam. That's quite a bit of damage with that one bot. You can see there. I get good damage with uh, Natasha. So let's go ahead and swap bots to Raijin. Sorry about that, it just cut out on me for some reason. We've just dropped Raijin and another, um, another Griff. We're going to do two shots with Raijin with the shield engaged. That way we're getting the 30% boost on the weapons. And we're going to show you how much damage it'll do in two shots compared to the Natasha with two shots. So let's engage our shield here. Our trebs are fully charged. Bam. Both these trebs are the same as the Natasha, by the way. Uh, they are both, uh, uh, one's a 10, one's a 1 on Natasha, and then one's a 10 and one's a 2 over here on Raijin. So they're pretty close to being the same. Let's hit it again. So you can see with that 30% boost, you do get a little bit, uh, quite a bit more damage. However... You get more damage with the other bot. So let's shred a uh, Gareth here with our next bot. I don't know what we're going to use. I'm going to have to look and see what there is. Uh, but I think we'll just unload uh, Tempest Molot on it. See what happens. Let's try a small bot with a uh, smaller profile there. Uh, yeah, let's do Tempest Molots. Or Tempest, uh, yeah, that was right, Tempest Molot. And I've got my uh, shield engaged on Gareth over there as well. But even, uh, this is close though. I'll do about 400. I know at 400 it should shred it pretty good. I can tell you the majority of the bullets are hitting me. But it is just annihilating my shield. And it's actually shooting around my shield. Shield's gone. Uh, so it took the shield down. Any other bot this close, it probably would have killed them. That shield kept that Garrett alive, uh, alive quite a bit longer. Let's just unload on it. So you can see, not too bad. So let's drop Natasha, and over here, we're going to uh, do the Patton Gecko. And again, my geckos on this Patton are pretty close to... Uh, stock I think some of them are seven eight something like that and then uh, one's completely stock so let's just you can see they do a quite a bit of damage at this distance not something I like to run but I just wanted to th uh, include them in this video 
uh, because a lot of people do run the uh, and if your geckos are powered up it does a lot more damage like I have two level 10 geckos on that Natasha I used in the beginning if I would have had both of those on here it'd be doing a whole lot more damage none of these geckos are over an 8 I got an 8 a 7 a 6 and a 5 or something like that you can see they're all different colors maybe the two blue ones are the same level those might both be level 8 or something like that but you can see I just uh, killed a Natasha it would have done it a lot quicker had they been leveled up so 